I'm Mark. If I could be anything, it would be a scientist. If I could be anything, I would be a scientist. A bone finding scientist. I find dinosaur bones. I use a magnifying glass, a shovel to dig with, and a brush to clean up the bones. I have to dig them really deep. 26 meters! Sometimes I have to dig for a million years. Woo! When I find a bone, I have to brush up the dirt very carefully so I don't break it. When I find bones, I bring them back to my tent. I think this is a triceratops bone. Sometimes dinosaurs hide marshmallows. Marshmallows? They are caves where dinosaur bones are hidden. You need a map to see where the caves are. This looks like the path to the cave. Uh, uh, you have to climb over these rocks. Uh. If I was a scientist, I would need a lantern because it's really dark inside. And I like to see the bats. Here's a good place to dig. Look at this. A dinosaur bone! I bet it's from a T-Rex. When I find all the bones, I put them in boxes. And I carry them back to the museum. You have to be careful that you don't drop any. When I get to the museum, I glue the dinosaur bones together. Once I put them together, they come to life. <gasps> wow, he's ginormous. Uh-oh, you better watch out for dogs. Give me back my bone, you. I have to invent a special ladder so dogs can reach the dinosaur. It's a T-Rex. We're gonna find more dinosaurs together. Woohoo, let's go. Come on, Rexy, this is fun. And the best part is playing with my dinosaur. Pass the ball. Hey, thanks. He scores. It's fun being a scientist. Can you imagine being anything you want to be? Can you imagine there's a world full of fantasy? And if you think about it lost, it becomes so real. Did you know, did you know, did you know that you can do anything you want to do? Imagine this or that, think of something new. And you can always change a thing or two. Anything you want, it's really up to you.
Hi, I'm Demia, and if I could be anything, I'll be a wildlife conservationist. Conservationist. I'll take care of and protect the environment. As a conservationist, I would get to work outdoors a lot. I love being outside. I would wear my favorite hiking boots because I'll be doing a lot of walking and exploring. Sometimes I would even get to use my special hiking poles to make walking over walks and up steep hills easier. And I won't forget my camera. I would walk through different fields full of flowers. Now look for lots of insects. They're really great for the flowers. Or I would hike in forests full of old trees. Look at all those huge trees! Or I would even walk along the beach of a lake or an ocean. Lots of different animals live here. Wow! I love watching the beautiful sandpipers on the beach. As a conservationist, it would be my job to study all the different plants and animals that live in one environment. That's where plants and animals make their home. And I would learn how to keep them safe. Safe from pollution. Pollution is yucky stuff, like smoking garbage that gets into our air and can make us and the animals sick. I'll pick up any garbage that I find on the beach. And I'll test the water in the lake to make sure it's clean enough for the animals to live in and drink. <laughs> Even take baths in. As a wildlife conservationist, I would also study and protect forests. I love hiking in old forests. I would hike over little rivers to know all about the forest animals. Some that live on the ground and some that live in trees. Way up high! Trees are really important. They help keep our air clean. Trees can grow to be hundreds of years old. As a conservationist, I'll tell big companies and the government to not cut down on the trees. The first animals will all cheer for me for saving their homes. I would always bring my camera on my hikes and take photos of the amazing places and animals that I will be protecting. I would share those pictures and everything I learn about the different environments and animals with my community. Then we can work together to protect our environment and help keep it healthy and give the animals a safe place to live. I would even invite everyone to come out to a wilderness camp out and see all the amazing things we will be protecting. The animals and I will throw a great party. Being a conservationist is important and fun work. I love it. Can you imagine being anything you want to? Imagine that!
Hi, I'm Paige. If I could be anything, I'd be a marine biologist. If I could be anything, I'd be a marine biologist. That's a scientist who studies and understands everything about the ocean. As a marine biologist, I would work in the ocean. So I would wear a wetsuit to keep me dry and a scuba mask to breathe underwater. And of course, flippers for swimming like a fish. Flip flop, flip flop. A big part of being a marine biologist would be observing all the different sea life that live in the ocean. That means watching what they do and learning why they do it. My favorite type of fish would be a clownfish. They're orange with funny white stripes and a little bit of black. Clownfish tell funny jokes and make other fish laugh. Even sharks! <laughs> now I'm learning about sharks. I would go into a special underwater cage to stay safe. Hiya, Mr. Shark. Click. I would take photos of the sharks swimming around and observe their behavior. That's how they act. I would also use a special camera to take x-rays of the shark. Wow! Did you know that sharks don't have any bones, like you and I? They have hard cartilage instead. Cartilage is what our noses are made of. Cartilage is more flexible, which makes sharks excellent swimmers. That means a shark is kind of like a giant hungry no! The ocean is a huge place. I would want to be a marine biologist because so much of our world is covered by water. And I would learn about the animals that live there and about their habitats. Habitats are where different fish like to live, like coral reefs or sea kelp forests. A big part of being a marine biologist would be sharing all the things I would learn with the rest of the world. Then we would be able to work together to keep it a safe place. The best part of being a marine biologist would be swimming with one of the largest creatures in the ocean, even the world, a blue whale. They're even bigger than the dinosaurs were. Blue whales are mammals, not fish. Fish can breathe underwater, but like me, whales need to breathe air. Whales have beautiful singing voices. That's how they talk to each other how you doing, buddy? and sing. Me, 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 me. The ocean is so cool. Being a marine biologist is so much fun. Can you imagine being any? And I'm a marine biologist. Imagine that! Hi, 
I'm Samantha. If I could be anything, I'd be a construction worker. If I could be anything, I'd be a construction worker. I'd build big, tall buildings and houses for people all over the city. If I were a builder, I'd wear a hard hat, a tool belt, boots, gloves, and a shiny reflective vest. Keeping safe on the construction site is very important. Time to get building. I'd use my measuring tape to measure how big to make the walls of my building. One meter, two meters, and a half. I'd build my walls this high. As a construction worker, I would learn how to use all kinds of different tools. Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! I would use a hammer to make the wood frames for the walls of my building. Or I would use a drill. It would make my work easier and faster. And screws will hold things together better. But sometimes I need to use glue too. That would make my walls super strong. As a construction worker, I'd use different kinds of materials to build with. I could use wood for framing walls, like in your room. Or I could use really strong steel beams that frame a really tall building. The frame is what holds up the building, just like how your bones hold you up. There are a lot of different jobs that need to be done on a construction site. My builder friends and I would work as a super team. That's Henry the dump truck. Henry is a great driver and loves getting dirty. He takes a load of dirt back and forth. And there's Wendy. Wendy is a tall crane that lifts things really high up. She isn't afraid of heights, so she could put in all our windows a hundred floors up. Beep, 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 beep. But my most favorite thing to do as a construction worker would be to use the excavator. I would dig super deep holes with the excavator's long shovel. It digs big holes where buildings will go. And it digs holes for swimming pools. I would dig so deep that I would find a treasure chest. I would use a treasure we found to help build a whole new city. I would call it Samanthaopolis. Samanthaopolis. <laughs> it's a place where you want to live. Samanthaopolis. My new city would have 200 buildings with shiny palace towers for all of my dolls. And every building would have a swimming pool. I love swimming pools. I would build a great city where everyone will love to live and play. And boogie down. Can you imagine being anything you want to be? Can you imagine there's a world full of fantasy? And if you think about it lots, it becomes so real. Did you know, did you know, did you know that you can do anything you want to do? Imagine this or that. Think of something new And you can always change a thing or two Anything you want is really up to you construction worker. Imagine that!
Can you imagine being anything you want to be? Can you imagine there's a world full of fantasy? And if you think about it lost, it becomes so real. Did you know, did you know, did you know that you can do anything you want to do? Imagine this or that, think of something new. And you can always change a thing or two. Anything you want, it's really up to you. Can you imagine being anything you want to be? Can you imagine there's a world full of fantasy? And if you think about it lots, it becomes so real. Did you know, did you know, did you know that you can do anything you want to do? Imagine this or that, think of something new. And you can always change a thing or two. Anything you want, it's really up to you. Can you imagine being anything you want to be? Can you imagine there's a world full of fantasy? And if you think about it lots, it becomes so real. Did you know, did you know, did you know that you can do anything you want to do? Imagine this or that, think of something new. And you can always change a thing or two. Anything you want, it's really up to you. Can you imagine being anything you want to be? Can you imagine there's a world full of fantasy? And if you think about it lots, it becomes so real. Did you know, did you know, did you know that you can do anything you want to do? Imagine this or that, think of something new. And you can always change a thing or two. Anything you want, it's really up to you. 